Hey guys, I'm I'm Josh, and I'm the one that does all these um, fingerstyle guitar covers. And um, first of all, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. Um, I just feel so blessed that people actually want to watch me <laughs> play. So um, thank you guys so much. And um, the reason why I'm doing this is because a viewer actually asked um, whether, whether he wanted to play it for his wedding. So he asked me if I had any tabs. But the thing is, I really can't read or write tabs. I tried once and it was terrible. So, um, also, uh, I mostly play by ear. And, uh, yeah, that's how I figure out all these, like, all the melodies and chords and the, the arrangement, basically. And, uh, yeah, I can, I can read notes because I was classically trained, but I don't really like writing them as such. So, I thought, might as well do a video instead. So I asked him, should I just do a video and explain how I do it? So and he said he was happy to do it, happy for me to do this. So um, yeah, here I am doing this um, video. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so before we get started, I just need to let you guys know it's not in standard tuning. I've actually tuned all the strings down one tone. So basically, E goes to D, A goes to G, D goes to C, D goes to C. Sorry, if that wasn't clear. Um, what's this note? Yeah, okay, G goes to F. Um, B goes to A and E goes to D. So the reason why I did the reason why I did this was one, um, I just like the bassier sound. It just feels a bit more fuller, and that's why I did that. And then the second reason is um, Corey Asbury. Corey Asbury. I'm doing the Corey Asbury version, the live at Heaven Come conference. So I, I did that version when I was doing um, this cover. He plays an F. So um, it was a little bit tricky to play on the guitar because there's lots of bar chords. So I thought I might as well just tune everything down so I can play the chords in G. So the G shape chords, so E minor, D, C and G. But I actually play an F, so it's just easier and um, feels a bit more open and more you know, free. So um, that's why I like to call it free. So um, yeah, oh, sorry, um, one more thing about the tuning is that all my covers that I do are 432 hertz tuning. So um, basically, music is generally in 440Hz, like Concert Pitch A is tuned to 440Hz. But I've tuned my guitar to Concert Pitch A as 432Hz. And um, I'll just put a link in the um, description of a, a video um, that explains why um, I do this. But um, if you don't want to tune to 42Hz, that's okay. Um, just, just go to 440 um, It might be a slight difference when I'm um, teaching this, but it should be okay. So, um, yes. Okay, so let's get into it. So basically, whenever I do my covers, I always try to find the melody first, and then I figure out the chords afterwards. So basically, um, the melody on this song actually starts on the electric guitar, where it does um, where it does this. So I'll slow it down again. the other string but um so yeah so those that's the melody and then um i figure out the chords afterwards so the chords go e minor d c and then g so basically now i got to try and figure out put the melody into the chords so what i do is what i did in this um song is that i played the bass note of each of the each of the chords so e minor was e then d was d then c chord was C and G chord was G. So basically I did this. So E minor, then D, then C, then G. So I played those like multiple times just to keep the bass going. So I went like So did that. So now putting the melody back into these chords. Uh, I'll do it slow slower. So then, 
and basically when it's up to speed, um, I'll usually play a few um, bass notes a few times just to keep the bass going. So I go. Oh, and sometimes I add another. If it's an open chord, so say G, you can usually play. You can play G like this because it's got all the notes. So I might play like the D string as well, so I might go just whatever really, whatever you feel like. As long as it just as long as the notes are in the chord, it should work. So I do it again. So I go I'll go slow mode again. So yeah, so that's that. Now the verse. The verse the melody that Corey Asby sings goes like this. That last note is just an extra note that I added in just for fun. And because I think David Hislip plays it as well. So I'll do it again. that and then now the chords. The chords are in this uh, E minor, D and C. So then I do the same thing, I use the same concept as I did in the intro. So I play the bass note uh, for each of the chords and maybe add like a few other notes here. So I might play the D, uh, D and G string here. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just, it'll make more sense when I play it. So I'll go, but I'll go slow motion. So yeah, basically, I'm just playing the melody and the bass note. E minor. D. So, how, so you can just rewind that and see if it's how I did it. So and then carries on with the melody. It's, it's the same melody over and over again. So anyway, now the chorus. With the chorus, because it's building up, I usually, when I try and build up the song, I usually play the string that's below the string that's playing the melody. So basically, if the melody is playing, if the melody is being played on the um, first string, I'll play like the harmony part on the second string. So um, the chorus, the chorus melody goes. Um, I'm sorry, that part, the last part, it depends on which chorus you're going to play. If you're going to play the second chorus, the first chorus, I mean, it goes down. But for the second chorus, it goes up, so... Uh, so, yeah, you can rewind that bit just to see it in slow motion. And then, um, now when I'm adding the other notes, so I do the same, first thing, the same concept of finding the chords that are in that in that part of the song. So chorus chords are E minor, D, C, G. Same thing as the um, bridge that's later on. But um, yeah, so just E minor, D, C, G. So then I add the bass note in. So we'll first just add the bass note and we'll add the harmony part later. So.
the best way to start. Just play the bass note and then play the melody. Now for the harmony bits. Now for the harmony bits, I just play like E minor chord, E minor seven. Sorry, these are notes. So then for harmony, but I just leave these as well. So like I said before, sorry. Um, when I do the harmony bit, I try to play the the string bel um, above the melody string. So I'll show you. So um. So you see here, I'm playing the G string and the B string as well um, after the melody is struck. So. So as I go down, as I do the melody, it's, I'm always playing the string um, above the melody string. So. So that's basically the whole chorus. So I'll do it. I'll do the whole chorus again, but I'll do it with um, yeah. I'll do the whole chorus with the harmony bits and the bass. So. Basically, just play, just go at the rhythm of the song for the um, when you're playing the song, and you just go at the rhythm of the song, I guess. So, like, it's in 6 8 time. So, you just go, you just play the harmonies where you feel like it should be put. So, like, So um, yeah, just feel you just gotta feel the melody and feel the harmonies and feel where the bass is supposed to go. During the bass, I goes on the first beat of the yeah, chord changes. But if you feel like there's not enough bass, just keep on playing the bass note. And yeah, now the bridge, the bridge is where I actually when I played the bridge the first bit, um, I thought well why why don't we try to put like harmonics in. So that's what I did. So um, I'll show you the harmonics where they are. So basically, um, the first harmonic that is used is is on the G string, on the fifth fret. Um, this one here. Sorry. Uh, so it's on the G string, on the fifth fret, and that one there. Then the next harmonic is on the seventh fret, seventh fret. Second string, so that one there, and then the last one is on the twelfth fret on the e, e string here. Oh, sorry, there's um one more. There's actually two more. Sorry, um the other harmonic is on the twelfth fret, but on the B string, and then the final harmonic is on the fifth fret on the G string. So the melody line, when I play the melody line, I it goes like this. So do it again. So the first first note is on the um, on the G string fifth fret, and then on the B string seventh fret, E string twelfth fret, and then um, seventh fret G string. And then twelfth fret seventh string. So I do it in slow motion again. So yeah, that's that. And then um, as in the song, it just holds E minor in the first bit. So I just play one bass note, and then 
play the melody, so go, I'll do it again with the bass. So yeah, there's that bit. Now, and then it goes again with the, um, does the same thing again. Um, oh, but the next, next part of it, instead of going to this note, in the very, as the last note, it actually goes to the 5th fret G string. So I'll do it again, so... Um, so it goes up, just like in the, in the song where um, Corey Asbury sings the melody up. And then, um, then the, for the second, it repeats the chorus, it, for the second repeat of the, um, sorry, bridge, sorry, it's bridge. Um, uh, I play the... I play uh, this part uh, goes So that's the melody, I'll do it again And then, and then um, the next, that other part, next part of it is the um, Martin, you won't, um, uh, Shadow won't lie, Martin won't climb up. No, what you won't kick down, lie, you won't tear down, coming after me. That part, instead of going down, it goes up, so. Okay, so, um, and then I add the bass notes now. So, and the, actually, I add the bass notes, no, I add the chords, so what I did was, um, in this part, I played the E minor like this, and then D, I played the, if you look at the D like this, that D here, I basically took this um, finger off and just played the the bottom two strings and the G string, so if you go here, those three. And then um, C is just the same thing, but just down two frets, and then G is up one string, and I'm just playing these two. So basically I'll do it again with, or I'll just do the, what I did, so I go. So that part, I slide down. I slide down the um, two fingers, and then I play the F sharp as well, so. That's what I did in that part, and then it was again the what am I kick down, I went tear down. So yeah, same same thing. And then um, what uh, the third and fourth repeat of the bridge, um, I play the whole chord. So E minor, D, C, and G again, same chords. So um, the melody goes. The second half of the bridge, that's the what he won't kick down part. So it goes up again. So, um, if, and then again, okay, now I just put the bass in, um, doing the melody. So, But now, so that just just play whatever notes that are in that chord. So I guess whatever you really play, because it's all mostly open strings, it should be good. So you go and I did slow motion. So, 
like I said at the start of the video, when I play the melody, I usually play the string below it, so... I play, yeah, the string below. And, um, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, that's that's the whole song. Yeah, that was it. Oh, yeah. So, um, I hope I was clear. I'm, this is my first time I'm doing it. I'm really sorry if, um, if it was just more confusing. I did my best, and um, I hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, actually, maybe I'll just go through the song again, but I'll just show you. I won't speak, but I'll just let you see what I'm doing. So, um, the first verse, I mean the, um, sorry, the intro. time the bridge goes so that's the first time that we sing the bridge so it goes um then then second time it goes um strum the chords, that's the only last bit, so just... So, sorry about that, that was a little bit, um, that was a little bit, um, a bit hard to see. It's just, it's just E minor, then D, and then instead of playing the C add 9 like this, I play this, I play the melody as well, so I play, so, um, I guess that's it for this video and um, yeah I hope I was clear and um, thank you so much for watching and uh, yeah okay see you guys